Good morning. Well, it's the day before Thanksgiving, and I bet y'all are all just as busy as I am. I've got my cornbread in the oven this morning. I'm fixing to boil chicken, and I'll, I'll actually make chicken and dressing. They're going to be turkey, but, I, but I'm the chicken and dressing woman. So I've got things to do. And y'all know, I went to the doctor yesterday with this eye. I'm going to see if I can just kind of show it to you. It's, in, it's still in pretty bad shape. But I've got medicine that the, the doctor told me. It was a woman doctor, wonderful woman doctor. And she told me it was conjunctivitis or pink eye. So, yep, I've got my medicine. I've got erythromycin ophthalmolic ointment to go in it that put in it four times a day. Apply one centimeter ribbon four times daily. And Terry is putting that in my eye. He's helping me. And this other little box here, I've took them both out of there. This other little box plays one drop in the affected eyes every six hours as needed for pain. So, and it's Keterilac or something like that. Anyway, I got my medicine. And it's this one's still a little blurry and kind of still a little hard to see through both of them. But sometimes I'll close this one eye. <laughs> Clean that camera if I if I just look out of one eye this is my good eye and that's my bad eye <laughs> but I'll be okay just give me a few more days I tell you Monday night Monday night I couldn't sleep it was a throbbing and a hurting so bad so I, <laughs> I went to the doctor made me an appointment went to the doctor but I'm going to show you my bag now y'all have seen this bag before I've had it lots of times and y'all saw the little pen that I got the other day. Well, my sister gave me a couple of little things. Let me show you this one. This is a little pen that looks like a little quilt. It's got little scissors and little heart. Isn't that just the sweetest thing? And I've decorated it up with some of my other little stuff. This is my little prayer quilt. Prayer pocket quilt. I'll read that to you. Prayer pocket quilt. I'm a little prayer quilt to hold in your hand. Well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep it on my bag with my other stuff. To hold in your hand to help when troubles arise, those things you don't plan. When your fingers touch the cross tucked inside, there's a little cross inside. Remember that God is always by your side. Hold me tight in your fist if it helps calm your fears and don't be afraid to use me to wipe your tears. But I put that, I've decorated my bag with that. And another one my sister sent me was this one right here. You see the little angel? And she there's a little pair of scissors and a little button. And that's the quilter's angel. May God give me divine inspiration. Let me turn around and I can see it with this bad eye. May God give me divine inspiration. May each stitch transform my scraps of color and design into a work of beauty. And I know that I just love little things. I do. And these are, that's just the sweetest little things. All of it. And Miss Wilma, you know, I took that quilt over to Miss Wilma's Monday. And Miss Wilma gave me something. She gave me some jewelry. And I'm, I don't wear a lot of jewelry here on the farm. But this one says, this one says, uh, God's girl. And I've decided I'm just going to hang it on my, hang it here on my, on my tote bag that I take when I take things from this, when I take things to any place. I'll put my laptop in it and uh, cell phone and stuff and take it up to the other house or if I take it to, to take somebody something. So my little tote bag's decorated up. But I got some more stuff in here. Mona, for Mona did what? She sent me some donuts to wear my hair. I don't think I fixed my hair this morning. But but I wore this one already, and I think I wore it yesterday when I went to the doctor's office, put it in my hair, and took some bobby pins, and made me a pretty bun. She sent a whole bunch of them. When, when I opened this package, the little granddaughter Deanna was down here, and I actually put this on Deanna and sent Mona a picture of that through Facebook. But that's what, that's what Mona sent me. And I've got two more birthday cards, and I know my birthday's been long over with. Let's see, what else? Yeah, just the two cards, and then I'm fixing to get off here and get back to work. This birthday card was from, from Laura, our Laura Austin. 
May you always find moments that make you smile. Friends who make you feel loved and so many reminders of what an extraordinary person you are. Happy birthday to Remarkable You. Thanks for sharing your farm and quilting life with us via the magic of YouTube. May God bless you with many more happy birthdays. That, that's sweet. And one more birthday card here that came. Well, these both, I think, may come yesterday and yesterday. Where'd that? I lost that card. Here it is. Here it is. This one was from Susan Kick in Portage, Pennsylvania. Uh, she says I'm someone special. Well, I don't think I'm real, real special. Miss Reader, you're one of those very special people who bring happiness simply because you're you. Hope you have a birthday that's just as wonderful as you are. Wishing you the happiest birthday, Susan. Now, my birthday's over with. <laughs> my birthday's over with, and we're going to have to celebrate somebody else now. Who are we going to celebrate? I know if y'all were watching that live the other night, she, our friend Sheila Gage is sending JL. JL's the 91-year-old retired minister in, in uh, I think it's south southeast Missouri, is the location they live in. But him and Janet watch us. I know y'all see that. And, and we wave to JL. Hi, JL. Hi, Janet. Well, Sheila Gage, as soon as she can get the address, she's going to send you that little lap quilt, JL. And I hope that it that when you wrap up in it, it well, you'll for sure think of Sheila. But I hope it makes you think of us other sisters that love you. Even though we don't know you, we just feel we love you. We love you and you love us. And when you get it, will you and Janet come up on the panel and, and show, talk to us and show it to us? I think that'd be awesome. I think that'd be wonderful. All right, I can't talk all morning because I've got a hundred things to do and I'm moving, I'm moving slow. I'm moving awful slow because I still got these problems. But I'm going to be okay and I thank you for your prayers and your concern. I'll be all right. I ain't going to let too much... Stop, nothing's going to stop me. I may slow down, but I'm not going to stop. Yesterday was a was a bad day, but I but I'm getting better now. I've got the medicine, and I'm going to be okay. So I see all y'all later. Y'all have a blessed Thanksgiving. Eat the turkey. Eat the pumpkin pies. Eat the sweet potatoes. Eat all the good stuff. I love y'all. Bye.